back. You're watching Gravitas and we have breaking news coming in. India has responded to the reference uh, to U.S.-India relations in Donald Trump's national security strategy, that vision document that was released yesterday. India says, and I'm quoting, we appreciate the strategic importance given to India-U.S. relations. This is a 60-odd page document, uh, the first of its sort uh, by Donald Trump, uh, seeking to outline America's internal ex and external challenges uh, and also essentially laying out the roadmap for the year ahead. Uh, India was mentioned at least six times uh, in the Obama era. And now it says, uh, the, the current document says we'll expand our defense and security cooperation with India, a major defense partner of the United States, support India's growing relationship throughout the region, seek to increase quadrilateral cooperation with Japan, Australia and India, and encourage India to increase its economic assistance in the region. Ramesh Ramachandran, my colleague, joining us on the phone line. Ramesh, uh, this is pretty much unexpected lines, but uh, what do decision makers, policy makers in South Block feel about... Uh, about how this vision document of sorts presents American ties with India. Palki, this is uh, President Donald Trump's first national security strategy document which he unveiled in Washington yesterday. And this is a congressionally mandated uh, exercise. Therefore, it is consistent with what he has been saying about India, about Pakistan, about Indo-Pacific, uh, specifically talking, as you mentioned, about reviving or, uh, or revisiting the quadrilateral among India, the US, Japan, and Australia, and also talking about leveraging India's position as a major defense partner to boost India's defense and security requirements in the Indo Pacific region and beyond. And also talking about Pakistan in particular, saying that the US has been giving them aid in terms of financial aid and, mon and, and defense aid, and it's time that the, the Pakistani authorities uh, act against terror groups operating both against Afghanistan and India to ensure the success of Trump's South Asia strategy. Now, that said, uh, in the Indian officials are uh, saying that they welcome this emphasis on, uh, on India's and India's importance in the overall uh, relationship. And if I can quote the official spokesperson as saying, and he says, and I quote, we appreciate the strategic importance given to India-U.S. relationship in the new NSS released by the U.S. As two responsible democracies, India and the U.S. share common objectives, including combating terrorism and promoting peace and security throughout the world. A close partnership between India and the U.S. contributes to peace, stability and prosperity in the, in the Indo-Pacific region, as well as to the economic progress of the two countries." Unquote. Ramesh, if we were to break it down, uh, what is the message for India from this policy document? Uh, experts suggest that America, quote-unquote, needs India in three broad areas to counter the growing might of and influence of China in the region, to tackle the terrorism emanating from Pakistan, and to help it rebuild Afghanistan. Would that be a fair assessment? Indeed. Uh, as you may be aware, Palki, uh, India, as Prime Minister Modi himself said, uh, in his address to the joint session of the U.S. Congress that India has overcome the hesitations of history. That is a significant statement to make from an Indian Prime Minister. And President Trump, for his part, has responded and reciprocated by calling for making India the one of the biggest militaries uh, in the Indo-Pacific region. And to that extent, one can see convergence of interests both among Indian and American policymakers on the way forward in managing the affairs of the Indo-Pacific, uh, in extending from the Gulf of Aden in the West all the way to the East Asian and East Asia Sea. So clearly there is a convergence of interest. It remains to be seen how Prime Minister Modi and President Trump take the relationship forward from here, especially in terms of collective defense and security in the Indo-Pacific. Right, Ramesh Ramchandran, thanks very much. And let's uh, uh, tell our viewers a little more about what this vision for cooperation with India uh, essentially said it was carefully spelt out in the detailed document on his national security strategy. Much of it uh, is in various stages of implementation and in that sense would be familiar. But here's a look at some of the key elements in this vision document vis-a-vis uh, -vis India. Trump has underscored his and India's concern over China's muscle flexing in the South China Sea, the building of artificial islands and the militarization of those islands. He said, and I'm quoting, our vision for the Indo-Pacific excludes no nation. We will redouble our 
our commitment to established alliances and partnerships while expanding and deepening relationships with new partners that share respect for sovereignty, fair and reciprocal trade and the rule of law. We will reinforce our commitment to the freedom of the seas and the peaceful resolution of territorial and maritime disputes in accordance with international law. And in the wake of the Doklam standoff between India and China in Bhutan not very long ago, and uh, the two countries' uh, opposition to China's Belt and Road Initiative, which is seen as opaque, favoring China and unsustainable, Donald Trump said, and I'm quoting again, we will help South Asian nations maintain their sovereignty as China increases its influence in the region. Very important statement. We will deepen our strategic partnership with India and support its leadership role in Indian Ocean security and throughout the broader, broader region. Read between the lines, it says, we will, we will seek India's help to, to uh, counter the growing influence of China in this region. And that includes the Belt and Road Initiative. Very, very important statement there. He also endorsed military cooperation with India, whether bilaterally or in a multilateral framework. And I'm quoting again, we will seek to increase quadrilateral cooperation with Japan, Australia and India. The quad that we spoke about during the ASEAN summit. We'll expand our defense and security cooperation with India, a major defense partner of the United States, and support India's growing relationship throughout the region. And as I said, a clear reference to Afghanistan was made. The president supported India's strategy of helping build Afghanistan's capacity in a number of areas, including humanitarian and economic aid. Quoting again, he said, we will encourage India to increase its economic assistance in the region.